しますわ。
Oh, I don't want anything today. I can see that I won't have much business here. I'll wait in the back while you two make up your mind. Hey, Matt. Are you in the hotel? Yes, we moved here the other day. Where does your father work? I don't have a father. Uh, do you have any brothers and sisters? Yes, I have three sisters, three brothers. My father used to work in a factory, but he died about a year ago. Are you coming to school soon? As soon as I get some decent clothes to wear. I like going to school. I like to learn. What are you doing here? You can't buy schools at a meat market. I know. I wanted to get a little soup for my mother. That would make a nice Christmas gift for her. Well, here, take this. I can't take your money. Yeah, you can. Mrs. Thompson, please give my friend here three pounds of your best stew meat. If you say so, Ray, tell you what, I'll make it five pounds for the same price. Thanks! So where do you live? Down the street at the end of town, Elm Street. The house is very old, but at least it is a place to live. It's home to me. What church will you attend? None, I guess. My mom says we can't go the way we look. God looks at the inside, not the outside. Well, maybe God does, but people look at the way you look when you walk into church. Tell you what, I'll be down to see you tomorrow. Our church has a clothing closet. I'll bring some clothes for you and your family. My mother is so proud she never wants charity. Well, who knows when I might need help. That's what we are all here for, to help others. I'll be there. Well, okay. Thanks for this, Jimmy. Christmas today, but I spent all my money on something else. I trust you spent it wisely. I gave it to the new boy in town. He was in the meat market trying to buy some stew meat for his mother for Christmas. He comes from a large family. Why did you go into the meat market? I had not sent you to the store. I just happened to pass by. I saw this boy standing there. He looked sad. Something told me to go in and see if he could, I could be his friend. So I went in. Stew meat for Christmas. Tell me about this boy. Seems that his father was killed in an accident at work. He said he didn't want to talk about it much. Ray, what you have done is a really nice Christmas gift for me. Remember what Jesus said? In as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these, you have done it unto me. That was our text at Sunday school last week. We will see that Matt's family has a good Christmas. Let's go to the church and sort it through the clothes for the entire family. Do you have their sizes? You told me about them. I think I know pretty much what they need. I'll drop by Mrs. Price's home. She said to let her know who needed Christmas baskets. Okay, you go over there and I'll meet you at the church in half an hour. That boy has learned the true meaning of Christmas. 